Hi guys and welcome back to Toucan Tarot. Um, quite an exciting reading today. Um, today is all about your future husband. Um, how exciting. All want to know about that. Um, so yeah, we're going to dive straight into it. We're going to do Pick a Crystal. I'm going to be introducing some new Oracle decks into the mix today as well. Um, so you'll see those shortly. Um, but yeah, love and light as always to all of you. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe. Um, do comment below. I get. Um, I really want to know where you're all from. I mean, I know I see very brief outline in my stats, but I'm really intrigued to see exactly whereabouts you're from and, and what your name is. So um, do comment below. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe and that like button. And let's get cracking. So... Your future husband, as I mentioned, crystal picking today. So we've got crystal one, crystal two, and crystal three. And while you're picking these, I want you first to take five deep breaths in. And I really want you to think about your future and love and just this subject, husbands <laughs> um, or future partners. Some of us don't want to get married. I don't like putting a label on it, but forever partner, shall we say. Um, so yeah. Um, see which resonates with you and let's get cracking. You can find the timestamps down below. Um, so let's get on with crystal number one. If you chose crystal number one, this is your reading. Great. So I'm going to pop these here for a second and um, let's get cracking. So first of all, we're going to draw some cards that says a little bit more about your future husband. <laughs> oh, how, what a great reading. Um, I thought I'd do this one because it's nice and uplifting as well. Let's have a look what we've got here. Oh, exciting. Okay. And then obviously we're using um, Gateway to the Divine Tarot with this deck. And then here we're going to be using um, Lunar Soul Tarot. And we're going to Delve a little bit deeper with this. Okay. And then we are going to choose some advice cards. And for this, of course. Rebecca Campbell and Danielle Noel, oh, magic when they're together. Let's have a look. So we've got Crumbling and Priestess. Okay. Um, also, guys, I don't... Oh, oh, getting a bit of a throat there. I don't just read my um, cards through the cards and traditional meanings. I mainly use my tarot guides. Um, I call him my tarot guide. He, tried, <laughs> he doesn't like me labeling that. He does help me, I'm sorry. He does help me in many other ways as well. But tarot, um, particularly recently. Um, so yeah, Luchuan and of course, um, Toucan Tarot is always um, here. Toucan, who's my spirit animal, um, hence the name of the channel. Right, I've got some beautiful, beautiful spirit of the animals oracle. So I'm going to pull one of these for you and one for them as well. I'll move that out of the way then. Right, so we're going to pull Eagle. Ooh. And then we've got the hawk messenger over here. Right, so let's get cracking. I think these are a bit out of view, aren't they? I've done my camera a bit higgledy-piggledy today, guys. So sorry about that. I think you can see all down this way. <laughs> you can see me more, which I don't think you want to see more. But um, there we go. Right, okay. So let's get cracking into this. Your future husband. Oh, let's have a look. Right. Let's have a good look at this. All right. Okay. Um, <coughs> Woohoo! You have got a firecracker here, guys. What? This is really an amazing person. This sounds like my dream man. <laughs> um, let's start off by saying, and um, firstly, you've got a real kind of green energy, um, you know, man of the earth, not man of the earth in that sense, but I mean humanitarian, a real humanitarian leader type person. Um, so not only amazing in business, but a humanitarian. So, you know, does things for good is what I'm trying to get out. Um, but yeah, we definitely see so much enthusiasm and motivation and go get it here with the, the Four of Cups reverse. Um, and my guides are affirming with me that yeah, this really is a go getting, um, you know, 
raw individual, so much passion and energy inside um, them. Um, I, I say he, he or she, of course, whatever relates to yourself. Um, but yeah, so much passion and energy inside them um, and a real leader. Um, I think there's definitely right now this... Um, your future husband, <laughs> I love saying that, this is your future husband, but right now um, he's going through, um, pop that there. he's going through um, a real hard time, um, definitely my guides are telling me that there's been a big issue with business, um, something financially, either investments or business, um, it hasn't gone well, so they've definitely sunk into a bit of depression, but it's all very temporary, you know, um, and I think definitely I'm hearing that there are, you know, this person has appears, listen, none of us are perfect, and I think one of their their Achilles heel is this subject of that, um, you know, they can, when things don't go right, um, they, they really do kind of vroom, hit the ground with them. Um, having said that, they spring straight back up again, and they're absolutely the kind of person um, that, that is able to pick himself up. So again, it's all very temporary. Um, but yeah, just real go-getter. Um, financial, as I said, there's definitely been an issue um, of finance um, and something going on recently. But that should tell us, again, we're looking at a real entrepreneur here. And that's even confirmed, obviously, as we go down, which I'll mention in a minute. Um, definitely, I think, in regards, um, which is where I pulled the Lunar Soul Tart cards to yourself, and what my guides are telling is one of the um, obstacles that you both need to be aware of when you do unite, um, or you may be united already, I don't think you are, otherwise you would have clicked on this video, but when you do unite, um, one thing to be mindful of is, you know, realising what you have got and not always looking for something more. And that's a real trait. You have a tiny bit of that in you as well, but that's a real issue with, with this um, one. Um, real issue with this guy. So definitely um, in that sense, you know, you can help him reel that in and yourself. Um, because, oh wow, he really does achieve so much. Um, so, so much. I mean, mass, mass, mass humanitarian leader, thought inspirer, um, just a real business entrepreneur you see that with the king of ones here absolute entrepreneurial um you know huge huge passion a huge enthusiasm a real go-getter a real lively one but in all the best ways very super and you see that with the king of swords again and also you know the king of ones i mean all the kings um you know have this in common this this one trait and that's that they're very controlled and very um, you know, the blunt there are, they're, they're very controlled, so although the breath, there's lots of fire and there's, you know, they, they don't stop, it's go, 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 they are very controlled with that, and so super intelligent um, guy we're looking at, um, yeah, very intelligent, very controlled, very forward thinking, and the best bit of all, I mean, it sounds like the perfect man, does it not, the best bit of all, a humanitarian, wanting, that's why I keep hearing that word humanitarian, and really wanting to give back, um, to society, to the earth, to the world, um, which is just wonderful. I mean, that is awesome. Um, yeah, so we're definitely seeing that. And then obviously we've got the page of ones down here as well. Um, just reminding us of all those characters, but also reminding, again, of that hot-headedness um, when, you know, this is definitely a person that likes to be recognised for his triumphs. I mean, he has triumphs left, right and centre, um, but really does like to be recognised for those. Um, and rightly so too, because he does much, much good um, around the world, not just in his local community. Um, so yeah, really does like to be recognised. Just to have a look here, this is the one that we pulled for your future husband, and it's the Eagle Mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky, let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. What a lovely card. And it's so key and nail on the head for what we've been talking about. Um, one thing I do want to highlight in here, because again, you know, these are things that you can help with. And through all the brilliance, again, another little trait crept through here, which my guides are saying is absolutely spot on. Um, let go of the past and soar. Um, I think failure, he finds failure hard. In the moment, again, which is healthy, you know, we should all feel that sting. That's what makes us want to get better and, and learn as well. Um, but the important thing to remember is that even though they fall hard, and I will stress this again, I know I said it before, they very much can pick themselves up and turn themselves around as well. So that's a really balanced person, I think. Um, Hawk, this was your one, and you relating to him. Hawk Messenger, Spirit is sending you messages 
Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Oh, such a lovely card. And this is what you're going to bring to the relationship, you know. And that's what I mentioned down here. You're going to be able to ground them slightly um, and help them, you know. It's the same as this card here. Let them, so rather than worrying about what he has, what he hasn't got, um, you know, you're there to eliminate distractions and concentrate on things that, that are there and that do matter. Um, so, yeah, that's something that you, you're going to be really able to help with. Um, and again, I think... This is something, and, and the issue with them falling so hard um, when they do go down, that's definitely something to do with the past, and obviously this card ties into that. The crumbling, the crumbling what are they clinging on to? Um, and there's two messages here, um, my guides are telling me. The first one is, is that's him, you know, and that's giving you some insight, so when you do meet him, um, you know, you know that there's a deeper level there, But the, um, and, and that's really what, what that's saying. Um, so a message for him in the sense that there is an underlining issue and also the second part of that is for you so when you meet him you can understand you know where some of this hot-headedness comes from every now and uh, well not hot-headedness but why he falls so hard and um, where it comes from it's somewhere in his past that you can definitely help them um another word of advice priestess how are you being called to step up and lead oh I just got an overwhelming feeling then, and I'm just confirming now with Lu Chuan. You're going to meet him through you doing something really spectacular. Yes. He obviously is a humanitarian, so he's got his fingers in a lot of pies. He's always about everywhere, looking at different things. And he's going to notice you if he hasn't already. So either you have met him or if not, you're going to meet through, doing, through you doing something amazing. How are you being called to step up and lead? He's very much a leader and, you know, those types of characters tend to go for the same. Um, and you are absolutely that. And, oh, I'm literally getting such an overwhelming feeling here that something really great is coming for you. And that's where this interaction is going to be. Um, let me pull another card. I'm going to use the Rumi Oracle um, for this, guys, just to give a little overview. Um, but, oh, I've got such amazing tingles here for you. And this is going to be where you meet. And that's for you. That's not for him. That's for you. How are you being called to step up and lead? Um, and that's for you. Isn't that a beautiful card? Oh, Danielle Noel's artwork is incredible. Um, you need to do this. You know in your mind, is what my guide's saying. We're trying to say, apps, you know what you need to do. You've been, you know, there's something that's been itching that you've been thinking of doing or you're preparing right now to do and you need to step that up and go forth because that is going to lead to your man. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely do that. And then I'm just going to pick a card here. Oh, a new gown. I love these cards. Um, a new gown. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, absolute new beginnings. Um, and for both of you, it's really going to present um, not only a new beginning, but because you're both such th not only thought leaders, um, business leaders, and I'm going to call you both, it's really coming to me, earth leaders, you're going to create magic together. I mean, wow, what a combo. I want to meet you both. <laughs> you're going to be a really cool couple. You're going to be the kind of couple that everyone wants to hang out with because you're just so interesting. And also, you know, other people are going to look at you um, because you're living life in the now. And that's something that you're really going to bring to him. Um, he's got plenty of that in abundance anyway, but you, you're really going to help push that through. And I think your union, the way others perceive you, um, 100% you're going to be the couple that, as I said, because you're so interesting, but not that, but, you know, when you look at those couples and they're just loving life and not only succeeding, you know, there's, there's earning money, which, bleh, but I mean, succeeding at life, so not only the abundance of monies and health and love, but laughter, you know, just generally loving life. I'm so excited for you. Um, let me know how these go, guys. <laughs> um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought. That was a really lovely reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do check out my other videos. I've got some more coming as well. As you can see, <coughs> excuse me. I'm new to YouTube, um, though I did stop posting, I've really only been posting for what, four weeks, there's a big gap there because of the lockdown and um, I'm just here with um, my baby, so it is the two of us, it's hard for me to record, but I've stepped up the ante now, um, I have don't charge for readings guys, because I just love doing readings, but I do accept donations, so 
Um, you can find out all the details um, below in the comments. Long story short, um, if you go into my wish list, there's all different price ranges, so all affordability levels as well. Um, you can choose something off my wish list, that gets sent to me, and then I'll deliver a recorded reading for you. Um, I love doing it that way because it keeps my readings looking super fresh with lots of nice new cards to add to the mix for you guys. Um, and yeah, and it's affordable to everybody because it's everyone's budget. So, and more importantly, I can carry on reading, which I love. Um, let me know what you thought. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Really trying to build my channel at the moment, so your help would be greatly appreciated. But most importantly of all that, um, introduce yourself. Let me know in the comments your name. Um, as I said, I want to have barbecue with you guys at some point. <laughs> anyway, sending so much love and light to you. and um, What a lovely, lovely reading. Um, blessings, and I will speak to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Hello guys and welcome to crystal number two. If you pick this crystal, this is your reading and today we're going to be looking at your future husband. How exciting. So we're looking at, um, yeah, future husband, what they're going to be like, um, etc, etc, etc. So it's super exciting. Let me just move that over there. Don't mind the visual. Um, right, so let's crack on. Um, first of all, we're going to be using the Gateway to Divine Tarot, and we're going to be using this deck just to check out the, you know, some traits and tell us a bit more about him. Say so him, could be a her, future wife or husband. Um, oh. <laughs> okay, nice. A nice, exciting start there. And then we're going to be using the Lunar Soul Tarot deck to have a look. A little bit more in depth and I'm going to be pulling out as well some Spirit of the Animal Oracles and we'll pull out some further ones as well. So Future Husband, lovely jubbly, <laughs> this is looking good guys. Um, and then finally we're going to pull some Rebecca Campbell um, and Danielle Noel who I absolutely adore. Um, Let's move those a little bit. And um, we're going to be using some of these just to get a bit of advice about the relationship. And then I'm also, as I said, I'm going to pull a spirit animal for the both of you. I've got play. I love these cards. Danielle Noel is just, and Rebecca Campbell, obviously, whose deck they are. But Danielle Noel is just, oh, she's amazing. Um, her artwork just inspires me so much, and I can just relate to it so much works well with me, my guides, my vibe. Um, right, let's get some spirit animal. I'm going to pull one for both of you here. Um, so let's pull one. These are such a beautiful deck. Spirit of the Animals Oracle. I have shuffled these well. They're very um, beforehand because they're so big. Oh, Black Bear Guardian. Guys, I mean, I can tell you instantly you've got a real warm lover here. Um, and Heron, for you, great. So, let's have a good look at what we've got going on here, guys. Um, okay, let's have a look then. Okay, so, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just laughing because this is so lovely. I mean, you can see all the cups. We've got the lovers, page cups reversed, we've got cups, seven of cups, two of cups, we've got the king of cups. I mean, there's so much love and emotion um, in your, your future life partner i like saying life partner some people don't want to get married but they want a life partner um i do want to get married but but yeah going back to this um so first of all um i say he by the way it's natural for me um because you know that's my thing but of course whatever relates to you he or she um but yeah he i mean so much so full of emotion and love i mean you've got the a real romantic i mean i'm talking I'm not saying they're Italian, um, that's not a vibe I'm getting to be, I mean, it could be Italian, but, you know, not to do with that. I'm talking about, you know, the traits that come with the Italian guy that's just so romantic. And, I mean, the romance is unreal, ladies, so you're in for such a treat. With that, of course, comes an emotional mind as well. But the, with this guy, the, the good far outweighs the bad. So, yeah, let's crack into it. So this guy is, you know, looking for love. You know, he's waited for you for this moment, um, his whole life. He's very emotional and, um, as I said, very much passionate person. Just wants to share life, and my guides are saying, for his life 
love partner and best friend is something um, that I'm getting through here. I'm not just looking for a partner or a wife, but a best friend. Um, it's the kind of person we're seeing that just has everything, you know, he's been really abundant in life with um, success, you know, had lots of success come his way. Um, and he's almost had a pick of the lot, shall we say, and that's brought in some traits that, you know, it tends to have a bit of a selfish trait, um, bit uh, bitchy, shall I say. And that, I don't mean that in a feminine way. <laughs> I'm giving you a right picture here, aren't I? A real romantic, bitchy, what's the name? No, what I mean by that is um, because he kind of has everything. And I think get, really getting a picture that before you, you come into the scene, he's a very bored person because he really has so much to share with his life partner. Um, and he's not being able to do that at present. Um, and it's created these kind of negative traits. Listen, none of us are perfect. We all have them. Um, and that shows here with the page of cups reversed, you know, there's negative traits coming through. Um, but I really am getting from my guide here that this is purely to do with um, current situation and not having found you yet. Um, I mean, what a, a part he's looking for marriage. He's looking for you. I mean, look, that's the marriage card if you're going to go by the traditional deck. But what my guides are saying here is that, you know, this is all he's ever wanted as a family. And um, and it's going to be such a beautiful union when you do meet. Looking here at the Lunar Soul um, deck and also getting some advice with them from my guides, um, you're going to be a real driving force with him. I mean, this is someone really full of passion. And, and I did hit upon the business, you know, a very... Um, smart guy as well I would say in the sense of not necessarily intellectual but smart very smart um but in the sense of business will come very easy but I think you're going to be that aside you're going to be a real driving force to their character and we shouldn't let others affect us but in some ways you do and um, when when it's for the good and you're going to be such a good force for him um, you're going to really balance him out and you're going to absolutely knock out these traits um, that we spoke about here um, you know, there's negative traits that can be a bit selfish, and that comes from because he's had everything. You know, up until life now, this person has lived a really generous, beautiful life. Um, I'm getting really well travelled here as well. Um, and as, you know, we say how passionate and romantic he is, he has been romantic and passionate with life because he's not found you yet. So he's just lived his life that way, and it's been a beautiful life he's had. But it has created because sometimes when you're on your own, you know, you do get in your own thoughts and there's no one to kind of balance you out and um, being on your own is wonderful as well um, you know that's not where I'm getting that but what I'm saying is that you're really going to be kind of that key to him unlocking a whole new realm of himself um, and a whole new level of himself which is amazing together you're just the start, this is really going to be the start of something amazing, not just for him, as I just spoke about, but for you too. And we really see that here with the Ace of Wands. Now, there is going to be some difficulty, and I'm not going to lie, you're going to, de and, and listen, every marriage has them, right? Every every single relationship has them, and it's what helps build, makes us stronger. And in your case, oh my God, you're going to go even deeper in love, as if, I mean, you're, you're the kind of couple that will, are so in love, and, you know, you show... And even if you're not, you might be giggling to yourself if you're not particularly the showy type, um, PDA, you know, public affection. Um, it's not called PDA, is it? Is it PDA? Anyway, <laughs> um, you, when you show public affection, um, but you will be. He's going to bring everything out of you, every single inch of you out of you. It's funny. I'm laughing because I can see this picture um, so clearly of two people just fawning and just so in love so 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 in love um but yeah there are going to be difficult periods but that's not a huge problem because those things are going to be ironed out um, and the result of that is just a beautiful relationship there's going to be a really good father i don't know if children are in your scope but they will be when you meet this person if they're not already and like i say you know you may if you're not this mushy type of character as well you are going to be <laughs> brace yourself you might never thought it was possible but you're going to be they're going to push out the softer side in every way of you um and in the family i mean he's going to be a wonderful father or wonderful mother um yeah just really beautiful vibes i'm getting and leading on from that the card we pulled for them which was their spirit animal is black bear the guardian oh, um gentle and wise protector 
Um, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. I mean, that just says everything. He's a protector. He will protect you. He will love you. But he does need guidance. And that's exactly what you're going to offer him, which is just why this is so magic, because you really do fit together. Oh, sorry to be cheesy, but it's so true. I'm getting tingles. Oh, I love these kind of readings. And um, your one was harem and patience. Um, create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Stop, step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. I'm getting here that this is completely for you aimed at him as in you need to be patient because he's coming and he's coming in force <laughs> with so much love that you're going to be knocked sideways so you need to be a bit patient and a key in here which my guide's telling me that you really need to do is take time alone to find balance something my guide's saying that can really help you with this um, and that he would like you to do is to meditate if you've never done meditation before, um, you can find some great guided meditations on YouTube. I don't, I've not done any yet. I think I will do coming up soon. Um, but yeah, you can find some great ones if you type in guided meditation. Um, and do some of those because they really can help. And it, you need to um, focus on you right now. As cheesy as that sounds, it's true. He's not too far around the corner, by the way. I'm getting that this is very much, um, you know, within the next six to 12 month period. So we're talking short term um, here, as far as how long you have to wait. But so be patient. Forget about that, because <laughs> he's coming. You just concentrate on you for now. Isn't that a beautiful card, by the way? Oh, I love the colors. I'm so full. And then advice, play, have fun, celebrate. Don't be so serious. I'm getting that this is aimed at you as well. Um, he's having fun, he celebrates, he loves life, he's celebrating love all the time. Um, but you definitely need to celebrate a little bit more and play a bit more. And I know this sounds really ridiculous. Um, <laughs> second I don't want to say it out loud. My guy's telling me that you need to search YouTube and you need to find the video. And, um, he's singing it. And I, <laughs> sorry, it's really strange to hear Luchan singing. I've never heard him sing before. But, um, you know, be my, be my, be my little baby. Excuse the singing voice. That song, if anyone knows it, put it in the comments. Um, you really need to go listen to that song and it will cheer you up. I don't know why, but that's a song you need to listen to right now. <laughs> um, and the next bit of advice, Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? Um, this is definitely coming through. Again, this is you as well. Listen, he's got so much going on, but I love how this has actually turned into, let's have a look at you for a second. And, and that goes hand in hand with that. Have fun. Um, how are you being called to step up and lead? And that's with the patience. So in this time that you're waiting for him, um, not only do you need to have fun and put that song on regularly, Be My Little Baby. I don't think it's called that, but you should hopefully know the song I mean. And um, play that regularly, not just today after this reading. And please do go and do it because it will instantly cheer you up. And it just made me really laugh hearing the trans sing it. So just for that, go and listen to it. Um, but also, Priestess, um, how are you called to step up and lead? And the trans saying that you really need to um i get the feeling that you are actually quite spiritual already um in in ways but you need to step that up big time um and this is what you need to do while you've been patient waiting for him i'm going to put out another little card for you as well um and this is the Rumi oracle and this is just as a finisher what a lovely reading it's really tickle me really so much so that when i was laughing a minute ago i actually had laughing tears in my eyes that <laughs> it was just at the thought sorry lutran my guy just to like paint a picture for you he's like a um a, a japanese kind of excuse me martial arts hero so to see him singing be my little baby just really tickled me <laughs> right okay i'm gonna listen to that song too it's gonna make me laugh right Okay, I'm going to pull two because this is the one I had my hands on. Oh, Layla. Oh, wow. Okay. Again, Lutran's saying these are all for you. They're not for him. He's all right. He's getting on with this thing. These are for you right now in your patience period. Um, first one, Layla, just look at this beautiful card. You know, this is you. This is you let going, thinking, you know, don't worry about him. He's there and he's coming to find you. So release yourself. In fact, Again, you know, it's really funny because if you watch my other readings, I don't normally say stuff like I'm about to say or about going to listen to a song. It's the first time I've said that. 
Liverpool Trans being crazy today, <laughs> but he's saying you need to. But he's saying you need to go outside tonight if it's not raining, or wait for a night where it's not raining. And he wants you to literally leap, make the um, position of this woman, stretch your arms out, hold your head high, and just breathe and enjoy. And that's just the message. That's what you have to do. That's all I'm going to say on that. That's what you have to do. And it's all to do, just to go a bit deeper, with you letting go, finding yourself more, knowing that everything's fine. I mean, you really have, of all the readings I've done lately, got the most beautiful, beautiful future ahead of you, that you just need to let go of all the worries right now because you're carrying too much on your shoulders. Make me a bit emotional. You're carrying too much on your shoulders. You really don't need to be because, oh, my God, you know, that's you. You need to let it go. Make that position. I want you to do that now. Hold your arms stretched. Raise your chest. Lift your head back and just look up. And the charm wants you to do that at night, outside, and look up at the stars when you're able to, depending where you are in the world. Here in the UK, it's raining at the moment, unfortunately. Um, the next one is Hand of Fatima. This is also for you, and it's exactly what we've just been saying. You need to reach out. That's you up there. Um, you need to reach out and let go. And not only when you release and you make this position are you letting go, but then oh, breathe it all back in. Let go of the bad energy and breathe in the good energy and connect with yourself in your patience period while you're waiting for this. Don't wait for this. This is coming. You don't need to wait for it. It's coming. Patience period, all about you. Have some fun. Go and find your inner goddess. And oh, I'm sending so much love and light to you. This is a lovely reading. Um, so happy for you. Please comment below because it really tickled me about the dancing and the going outside and oh, releasing yourself. Um, so, yeah, let me know. Um, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed um, this reading. I've really enjoyed doing this one. Um, and the one before, actually. It's been a really beautiful day for readings. This subject's really cool, um, and I like it a lot. It's very positive. Um, so, yeah, so, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment below. Definitely you guys, Crystal, too. Um, and also, I was saying before, I don't actually offer um, paid readings because, you know, I like to just do readings, and not everyone can afford them. So what I've done now is rather than pay me, um, you know, a sum, um, you can choose anything off my wish list and donate a deck, tarot, new tarot deck or oracle deck um, that will help keep my reading super fresh. Um, and for doing that, I'll exchange that for a reading. There's all different prices, so, you know, you can spend up to a fiver or you can spend 10, 20, you know, whatever you, is your affordability, basically, or whatever you can afford and feel worthy um, of a reading. Um, but, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. But more importantly than all of that, comment down below. I want to know who you are, where you are. Um, amazing. Have a great day, guys. So much positive energy here. Reap it up. Forget about him for a second. He's coming. Um, and really just enjoy and oh, let go. Enjoy. Peace, love and light to you. Bye-bye. Hello, guys. And um, welcome to Crystal 3. If you chose Crystal 3, this is your reading. So let's crack on. Who, your future husband. What an interesting... Um, topic it's just really positive and it always gives us some insight first of all um, I say husband future partner some people don't want to get married but you know lifelong partner um could be a wife as well whatever resonates with you right okay let's give these a good shuffle so first of all we're going to have a look oh, at the characteristics oh blimey okay I say that. Oh, blimey. All right. And for that, we were using the Gateway to the Divine Tarot. And now let's have a look with Lunar Soul Tarot. We're going to have a little bit of a deeper insight into what's happening here. Um, just so you are aware, I also use my guides. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I use my guides for my readings. Um, I have Lutran with me, and also, of course, Toucan, who's my spirit animal, um, my spirit um, animal guide. Um, Toucan's been with me for a long time, hence the name of the channel. Um, I'm also going to be pulling a couple of animal oracles for you guys, and also some advice cards with the Rebecca Campbell oracle. But let's have a look at these first. Um, I hope you're all well. How are you all? 
um, let me know down below, or actually, hold that thought, because, oh, the pelican, I love the pelican, raven and pelican, because we'll have to see how you're doing after this reading. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, then we're going to pull some advice cards. And this is all about your future partner, long-term partner, husband material we're talking here. Okay, let's have a good look then. All right, so let's have a good look at what we've got going on here. All right, so firstly, um, <laughs> fiery type. Um, you, we're looking at, this is an awesome person we've got right here, super, super headstrong and very ambitious. Um, I'm feeling very giving, a really giving person, um, absolutely at the top of their game in regards to whatever they put their mind to, they achieve. Um, they're in a kind of, I'm trying to think how to explain it, they're in a kind of, um, okay, let's just stop there. Okay, so let's have a good look. Um, great, well, so far, great. We've got lots and lots of um, energy here, fire energy. Obviously, we've got the king of wands, um, and my guides are telling me as well, you're looking at someone that's super confident and completely on top of their game. There's lots of energy there, fire energy, of course, king of wands, um, but also someone very giving, I'm getting here, really giving, um, kind, very headstrong, very, very headstrong, um, really an all-rounder um, in that sense. They're in a kind of position at the moment where they're very, they're waiting for you. They're just kind of stuck as if they don't feel like they've started yet. So, well, they have started and my goodness, they have done a lot. <laughs> I mean, this is a real entrepreneur as well, my guides are telling me. They've done a lot um, already. Um, and... What, but what I mean by that is the sense that they're st still in regards to their personal life, um, in regards to love anyway, and that they just want to meet you, you know, they're really kind of just vroom, stop time almost, and it's got to that stage now, it's not always been like that for them, but they're really feeling that at the moment and hoping that they meet you soon. Um, Again, really a happy-go-lucky kind of person. Lots of opportunity always coming their way, um, especially because they're so um, driven in that sense. So they create lots of opportunity because they present themselves all the time. Um, but yeah, they're really waiting to start. We see that again with the Ace of Cups here. Um, they're just really wanting to, to get going, basically. Um, but it's halted, and that's because they've not met you yet. Um, also, I'm seeing here... and. Yeah, Lutran's confirming that they're wanting kids. They want to start a family. This is what this star is, that they, they, you really want a family um, and to be a father or a, a parent. Um, and, yeah, oh, how beautiful. So they're just really suspended is the word that's coming through. Almost like the hanging man here, of course, um, waiting for you, you know, waiting to start this family. Um, and when you finally do, it's going to be a, a wonderful, wonderful journey. Um, I mean, as I said, they're at the top of their game. So you're dealing with someone that's also going to, you know, look after you in that sense and very much be a protector. Um, it's reminding us as well that, you know, we need to... Or certainly when you do end up with this person, in regards to your relationship, I think the two of you will have a real tendency, and guides telling me here that um, a real, real tendency to work, 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 um, because, you know, you, and I'm hearing that this flows off of you, and if you haven't started yet, oh, you, it will start, because you're just gifted in that department if you've not hit on it yet entrepreneurial spirit I'm talking about um, he has it in abundance um, so when the two of you get together um, it's going to be a great success on that side of things but um, Luchan's telling me here that you really need to um, always keep at the forefront of your mind that you know you can build all these um, uh, monetary successes um, but they're all just things and you both have to be careful that um, not be careful but just be reminded to look at and really live your emotional life a lot more obviously we work but remember too that we don't live to work we work to live and that's the balance that you need to you, the balance that you two are going to have because you're just such hard workers 
Along with that, though, again, that's just obviously advice there, but along with that, on that note, oh my goodness, you really are going to be hard workers and a kick-ass couple in that sense. Um, you know, we see that with the four here, you're going to start such a big adventure together. And um, again, you know, you've got the Wheel of Fortune twice. Not only has it happened with him and how his character is, but it's happening again here in the relationship in the future in the sense that you can have so many opportunities come your way. And Guy's telling me that, you know, this isn't a luck thing. This is purely you guys creating it. You know, we create our own opportunity. Um, luck, I believe, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And I don't mean necessarily that applied to just work in a business sense, but the more we do, um, the more we are open to and the more we learn and then we come across something and etc cetera, etc cetera. it's like a domino effect um so yeah you're gonna have that in abundance um again the biggest advice here that i'm getting is that you're such a powerhouse couple or you're going to be a powerhouse couple that you need to just slow it down a bit um and live in the moment that much more and on your emotional side of being um, let's have a look at the animal um, spirit cards that we pulled out. So this one was pulled out for um, them, and it's Raven, Shaman. You are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Oh, isn't that lovely? And again, it goes to the kind of person we're talking here, you know, a creator, um, and certainly you've got the hanging man here, the wheel of fortune coming up, you know, that ties in with the magician side of things. Um, and yeah, and I think this person is going to use, I'm getting from Guy um, Luchan here, he's saying that I don't need to worry, where it says use your gifts for good, that's a given with this person, so I do want to put that in stone, and they will do. Um, but yeah, there is power in their wisdom and words, connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Um, interesting. Now let's have a look at your one. Um, Heron, Patience. Oh, isn't that just such a beautiful card? I love the colours in it. Lovely pastel pinks and purples. Um, create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Um, and definitely, I'm going to go into this, but Guide is telling me straight away, Luchuan, that you need to um, straight away forget him. He's on his way to you. You know, patience is what it's saying, because this you don't need to worry about. He's on his way to you. But yeah, create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. I'm getting a real message here of um, that... You need to go within a bit more as well with yourself, um, and we'll help on that in a moment. The advice cards. First of all, we have Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, Seeding the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan. And again, this is just speaking to the both of you right here about your future. And, you know, you again, I'm just getting the most overwhelming feeling, and Luchuan is confirming that you're just going to be a powerhouse couple in regards to business and enterprises. Um, I have a feeling as well that look, this business is going to be towards doing something good. There's going to be a um, give back element behind it. So that's super cool. Um, really interesting. Um, the next bit, Starseed, what lights you up? This is for you, Luchuan's telling me, and for you. And look at, just really want you to take in that image because this is what you really need to do. You really need to kind of go within yourself. Um, Latran's saying meditation would be really good for you. Um, and this is in your time of patience. As I mentioned, you know, this is while you're waiting for him, this is what we really need to concentrate on here. In your patience time, you want to really look at what is it that lights you up. Um, and really dig deep because, you know, Latran's saying here that the more you dig deep now, when you meet, the more fireworks there's going to be and I do say fireworks because you're dealing with the king of wands here <laughs> um, but the more fireworks there's going to be in the sense of the more grounded you both are which you that's why you haven't met yet because you're both nearly there not just in grounding I mean to where you should be at that exact right moment to when your you know paths cross um, and this is needed from you so really work on that work on that what lights you up meditate um there's so many great guided meditations on youtube so definitely suggest that you have a good look through there i'm also just going to put a, a couple of cheeky oracles for you as well as an overview final overview 
These are the Rumi Oracle decks. Um, really super pretty. You'll see in just a moment. But let's have a little look. Oh, wow. Oh, I love these. So we've got Let Love Transform. Isn't that just beautiful? And then we've also got Layla, who's just looking up at the universe. Wide arm, arms wide spread, chest out, head back, and just letting everything go and taking it back in. I'm really getting a message from um, Luchuan here. With this relationship, obviously we talk about you being this power couple and, you know, it's so explosive. And with the emotional, um, this is going to be part of your journey, your soul journey. You know, you two are meant to be together and you will be together. And when you do, one of, um, you know, your soul journey's missions together is actually let love transform. Um, is what Luchuan's saying. And what he means by that is that we, we mentioned that you, for you two and your souls, um, you know, you're very business, business, or certainly he is, and you will become that when you're at union with him. Um, but this is speaking about that, you know, that's part of your journey, is not letting that overtake the love and bringing it back down. So that's really powerful. And this is something, remember this. Remember this. Let love transform. What a beautiful, beautiful message. This one, Lutran said straight away, goes back to your Patience card and your Star Seed, what lights you up. And it's Layla. And she's literally, I mean, I want you to do this right now, Lutran is saying. He wants you to spread out your arms, both arms spread. I'm going to do it with you because it's beautiful and it's a lovely stretch. And spread out. And I want you to push your chest forward and literally look up. And that lovely feeling. And if you take a deep breath, and what Latran's saying is the next time you get a moment um, when it's not raining, he wants you to go outside at night when you can see the stars and do this exact thing and let go and start thinking what lights you up. You really, This is a journey about you in your patience time while you're waiting for this to happen. This is a journey about you and we're looking at what lights you up and this is just an encouragement of that exact same thing. Oh, guys, this is a lovely reading. Um, and what lovely messages. This one, don't forget. Ryan Chuan says this is the most important card in this deck about you and him. And that's because that's your what part of your soul um, journey with him. And one of your challenges is to make sure that love, um, you know, conquers. And love is what comes through each and every time. So what a lovely message. I really hope this resonates with you. Um, really lovely reading, very exciting times. And, and definitely, again, I'm going to repeat it one more time because we're trying to keep saying it to me here, um, that you've just got to, you know, forget him. He's on his way to you. He's actually pining for you more than you are him. <laughs> he really is. Um, and Luchan's saying that, you know, so you just need to forget him because um, he's coming very soon. Um, and in your patience time, this is what you need to concentrate on here and um, is your what lights you up and obviously finding, um, you know, digging a bit deeper within yourself so that when you do meet him, you're really at a great starting point to create magic and explosions, positive explosions together. Wonderful. I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, I, do, I was going to say, if you want to know more, um, I, can do, I do private readings. I don't charge for them anymore, um, so I just love reading. But what I do do um, is ask for donation. My wish list is below, my Amazon wish list, and there's lots of tarot decks and oracle cards. And I just thought that was a much nicer way, um, you know, as a transfer for a re private reading. Because, it, you know, caters to all different budgets, so whatever you can afford or think is worthy for a reading. Um, and, yeah, it helps my readings keep them super fresh and looking cool like they are now hopefully you agree <laughs> so yeah anyway guys um don't forget to subscribe like and comment below i want to know a little bit more about this i'm interested to know um i want you to do this firstly we try and last thing remember to go outside at night um, when you can see the stars the next dry night that you can see the stars go out and spread your arms wide bear your chest out and literally just breathe and breathe and you uh, to breathe out um when you're literally breathing out you're letting everything go and when you're breathing back in you're bringing in all that beautiful beautiful energy um amazing all well, love and light to you again comment below i'm really interested to know where you are like the video subscribe to my channel I'm really trying to build it um and i will see you soon i'm gonna be doing lots of videos so keep your eyes peeled take care guys love and light